Y'all planning for this? Hello, everyone. Welcome to a, another episode of the Perfect RIA Podcast, Reading Time with Jarvis Edition. I'm your host, Matthew Jarvis, and in this segment, I share with you highlights from the hundreds of books and thousands, tens of thousands of articles I've read over my career to draw out from you the most impactful resources and hopefully translate them into action that you can take in your practice. Today, we want to talk about the famous gold mine of information, The Nerd's Eye View by Michael Kitsis at kitsis.com, K-I-T-C-E-S.com. Michael's website is my go-to place for any technical information. Anytime I have a technical question of any nature, the very first place I go is kitsis.com. I go to the search feature and start typing in looking for resources. Now, I must confess, and biasly so, that my favorite resource on the kitsis.com website is, of course, his Advisor Success Podcast, specifically episode number seven, which was, as you know, my episode. One, it was a lot of fun to be on with Michael Kitsis. He's an absolute genius, and it's fun to share conversation with him. Uh, But that episode led to life-altering moments in my life. It led to my friendship with Micah Shalansky, which launched the Perfect RAA. It's launched dozens of masterminds and other programs. Really a sliding door moment in my life. Uh, And while that was a lot of fun back in 2017, I'm honored to announce that Michael Kitsis had me back on his podcast that airs September 21st, where we dive deep into how I grew my practice from $100 million in assets in 2017 to some $240 million of assets today, how we made that growth, why I hired another advisor to join my team, what's happened with the Perfect RA platform, Uh, but also we talk a great deal about fee increases and why I went through multiple rounds of fee increases, ultimately raising my fee from 1% or a smattering of 1%, whatever else, to 1.5% on all households under $2 million. Now, raising fees is very difficult, and Michael, rightfully so, gave a lot of pushback, saying, boy, how can you charge such a premium fee? Where I like to always then respond with the joke, hey, the 1% AUM fee was not the 11th commandment given by God to Moses, right? And and, and blasphemy aside, we act as though the 1% fee is some kind of edict given from on high, a law of physics, whatever you want. But in the reality, it's just easy math. It's easy math. So takeaway number one from the episode I had with Michael Kitsis, but his website in general, which is the 1% AUM fee is not a benchmark. It is not anything that you should base your practice off of. Like the Ritz-Carlton versus the Motel 6, you need to base your price on the value you provide. So instead of comparing yourself to the cheapest advisor, instead of comparing yourself to all this garbage about fee compression, find a successful advisor who is delivering a similar amount of value and anchor your fee off of their fee. In fact, if you're not sure, just find an advisor who has the practice that you want, copy the value that you're delivering, and then copy their fee. It's uh, It doesn't take rocket science, but it's easy to get our mind wrapped around the 1% fee because it's talked about so much. Action item number two, raise your fees. Now, I know that it is very, very, very difficult to raise your fees. I am in the process of a fee increase right now, and my personal head trash is that every client on whom we charge, we raise our fee, they will quit. But not only that, every other client will hear about it, and they will also quit, and I'll get kicked off the Perfect RA podcast, and I will shortly be homeless. Now, the odds of that happening are essentially zero doesn't change my head trash. So I know that the idea of charging a premium fee is difficult. I know the idea of raising your fees is difficult. It's all head trash treated as such. Takeaway number three from the entire Kitsis empire, which is model success, or in other words, do what works. Comb through his website, especially the Advisor Success Podcast, and find advisors who have what you want to have, whether that's myself, whether that's Ron Carson, or anybody else who has been on the Kids' Podcast, and model what they're doing. They go into great length in these long-form episodes. There's a lot of takeaways that you can say, great, I want a practice like that. Therefore, I'm going to do what they do. An example of that would be my friend Charlotte, who was episode 242. Charlotte has a phenomenal practice, a second-generation advisor, and she's done a lot of things that most advisors only wish they can do. So that's where you'd go. You'd listen to Charlotte's episode 242, and you'd say, great, if this is the kind of practice I want, what did Charlotte do that I can also duplicate? Okay, final question to ask yourself as we part ways for this episode 
And the question is, why are you charging the fee that you are charging? Right? How did you come upon that fee? Was it because you'd heard that 1% was the baseline and you anchored off that? Was it because you compared yourself to similar practices? Was it because you were looking at the cheapest option instead of the most expensive option? Just be really honest with yourself. Why are you charging the fee that you're charging? And if tomorrow your entire fee schedule disappeared and you had to set it again from scratch, right? You had to set it from scratch, what would your fee schedule be? Or even how would you? determine that fee schedule. So in the immortal words of Nacho Libre, go, go away, read some books. Hold on before we go. Something that you need to know. This isn't tax, legal, or investment advice. That isn't our intent. Information designed to change lives. Financial planning can make you thrive. Start today, don't think twice. Be a better husband, father, mother, and wife. The perfect R.